Uh, hi, my name is Fabrice Florin, and uh, this is our home. We've lived here for 35 years with my wife and son and now our grandchildren. And this was built in 1954, which is just as old as I am. <laughs> and we love it. My wife and I are very concerned about climate change and about the impact we're having on the environment. And so we determined about six years ago to go all out and to change our lifestyle so that we would be more sustainable. We have reduced our carbon emissions by more than half. So we're well on our way to net zero. And even though we're on a fixed income, we've managed to do all this stuff over about a 10 year period, all said and done. Come on in. We have a few other things to show you inside. Right over here is our heat pump water heater. So when our old gas water heater broke, we didn't panic. We realized that this was the perfect time for us to switch from dirty fossil fuel energy to clean energy for our water heating. Welcome to our kitchen, where we're going to make some major improvements uh, next year. This is our old dirty gas stove. We're going to be getting a nice uh, induction uh, range with a cooktop and uh, convection uh, oven. But to test the concept before investing big dollars, we decided to begin with a small portable unit. And you know what? We mostly cook on that cooktop. We rarely use the gas anymore because it's such a great technology. It boils water under a minute. You have greater control and precision and it's electric, which is a good thing because remember, free energy from the sun, that's what powers the cooktop through the battery. So another way to reduce our water use is to use low flow shower heads and faucet aerators. But we wanted to go one step further. I wanted to be able to easily shut off the flow of water when I'm just shampooing my hair or you know when I don't really need the water. So for 15 bucks, I got a simple little shut off valve that helps me do that without stopping the hot water from being there. Also, all the uh, lights in our house are LEDs. No more incandescence. It's so easy to do and it makes such a big difference. So we're big believers in electric transportations. And we've got uh, three electric vehicles in this household. Uh, this is my e-bike, which I use every day. I go up in the Marin Headlands for uh, peace of mind, but I also go to the grocery store and I do all my groceries with this handy Beno e-bike. I love it. It's, I feel young again. It's transformed my life. But for longer trips, we will take the electric car. And it's such a good feeling to be able to say, yeah, sometimes we use a car, but most of the time it's powered by the sun. Uh, we sold our second car and we not just use the e-bikes for all the local errands. So this is the sun power hub where all of our solar and electrical are integrated into a single all-in-one solution. We've actually integrated our old electric panel into this hub, which is pretty cool because for a long time we thought we would have to do a major upgrade to our, you know, 125 amp electric panel. But it's not necessary to do a major electric upgrade. So I'm showing that to you because this has really become the heart of all of our electrical use and it's fully integrated with our sun power, solar panels, and home battery, which I'll show you next. This is our home battery from sun power. It connects directly to our solar panels up on the roof. And it's, has, it stores enough electricity to power the house for a couple days in case of an outage, including the refrigerator, including the big TV, who are the big power sucks. And um, it's usually charged by 11 o'clock in the morning. Because of the drought, we had some really hard decisions to make a couple years ago. One of the decisions was to get rid of the lawn altogether because that was the biggest 
uh, culprit in our water usage. And in addition to that, we decided to use rainwater tanks. So follow me and I'll show you what those guys look like. Here they are, two water tanks, each 500 gallons, 1,000 gallons total. And what we do is in the winter, just a couple rains will be enough to capture the rainwater that's coming through the roof, comes through these pipes, into the rainwater tanks. In just two days of stormy weather, we have enough to basically irrigate this terrace for the entire summer. So a lot of the devices that we've just seen in our home are, are controlled by apps. So it makes it really easy for you to see what's going on. This one here tracks how the energy from the sun is converted to electricity to power our home. This app here is Racho, and so we control all of our zones in the garden through this little scheduling system. This set of pavers is permeable, which means that when the rainwater falls, it can go through between the pavers instead of just going down the hill and causing all sorts of flood issues, which would have been the case if we had kept our old asphalt. Here we are on the side of the street, looking at the water meter. We became really concerned about our water use, but we really were not very clear on what was using the most water. So this little device from Flume attaches to the water meter and it measures how much water you're using and it transmits that information electronically via Wi-Fi to uh, a unit in my office that gives me very precise measurements. That's how we find out that the lawn was the biggest culprit and that the lawn had to go because it was using one third of our entire water use. For us, it's been such a fulfilling experience to gradually transition from the old dirty fossil fuels to the clean energy. And you, you feel uplifted by doing it and you end up saving money. A good way to get on the road to uh, making a green change in your life is to join a climate action group in your area because you can learn from other neighbors. And, we run a uh, climate action network here in Marin in the Bay Area, which you're welcome to join. It's called greenchange.net. And you can go to our website and uh, check out all the online guides uh, that uh, we provide for all these actions that you can take in your life as we have in, in our own home. And there's green tips from community members and we host regular events. Wonderful place to meet uh, thousands of neighbors like you who also are doing their part to solve climate change and to do it with a positive attitude, with joy and hope, which is really the best way to make the transition that we all need.